Hey everybody, today's video, well, it's getting that time of year. Uh, we're probably gonna have to mow pretty soon. Although if we don't get uh, some more rain here eventually, or any rain, uh, there might not be much to mow. Uh, but we've got the Zero Tint Dixon here. Gonna put a new deck belt on. It is the Gates 6597BR. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is pull off the uh, the cover. So there's just this thumb screw here. And we'll put that where we don't forget it. Then you pull up, it's just got two tabs in the front, and then that's where your, your thumb screw sat on. And now the next thing, I'll get a, uh, I'll show you. So this belt, uh, I believe has a twisted cord in it. Uh, it jumped off the idler pulley here and uh and didn't want to stay on tried it uh, a couple different times and it, it just won't stay on and it kind of has a twist when you when you take it off and hold it up so i i think there's something wrong internally with that belt and one thing before you start pulling your belt off is if you don't have this the diagram of how your your belts will go around the pulleys and everything then you need to either draw one of these on your deck with a paint pen or a notepad something like that so that you don't forget how it goes on there because you, you can put it on wrong and it's it still may fit and then you've got to redo it so no sense in doing that so there you go now uh, the next step uh, we'll loosen the uh, We'll loosen the idler. Okay, so need a 916 wrench, and this is where we're gonna loosen that idler. Now, normally your belt should be running around here, and uh, then uh, you would have to work the belt off. I bring this till there's oh about half or so of the nut still on. There we go, got that loosened. And then as you can see that, this little guy will turn here, but uh, it's pretty loose. So, so that's loose now, got the belt off. And like I said, make sure you've got uh, it drawn how, how this belt goes on. So now we've got to take the belt off. To do that, we're gonna need to take these uh these covers off as well and that's just these screws right here so we'll do that next okay so this is a 3 8 or it's got a star on it but if you can get the most grip is usually the best way to uh to grab at a bolt or screw Grab a well, I thought I had a magnetic uh, bolt hole there. These are always the ha handy to have. Keep track of everything. Almost. Just holding on a little bit more. 
There we go. All right. Now, could you possibly finagle this on there without taking it off? Possibly, but uh, it, it's two bolts. Take it off. To, um, so we'll take this off of both sides, and then we'll be ready to pull the belt completely off. Okay, now we're over here on the shoot side. Same deal. You can see the star a little bit better in there. Like I said, um, you get better grip this way. You don't have to worry about stripping out that those uh, those thread or the head there. If you use a socket, just safer this way. That one's off. Get the back one here. Get you around where you can see it. Got it off, pull that off. While you're here, clean out any extra grass that you may have. And now we'll be ready to uh, pull the belt out. Okay, so uh, we're gonna pull the belt out and the way I like to do it is I get it unhooked up front and then I pull it out the back off of the uh, off of the clutch pulley that will sit below your motor so we'll just get it off all the pulleys here so that it doesn't want to catch on anything which is sometimes easier said than done so now we should have it loose up in front and then we'll go around to the back as we got it off. Oop, didn't get off of that one. There we go. Got off of that one. And they will like to flop back on once in a while. So got that loose. Then we'll come around to the back. And we'll see here. Right here is where it's sitting on the on the clutch pulley. Loosen that, or take it off rather, and then it should pull out. There we go. And notice, you know, it does have some weird twists in here. That's why I think it could be a broken cord. Um, you know, something happened to it just won't stay on anymore so now we'll get the new belt and we'll just do this in reverse okay so I took the belt out of the package and here it is for you again and i'll put this in the in the description too but it's 6597 br and this is the gates number but if you uh if you at least have one number then you can cross reference it uh with another brand yeah obviously there's uh not any dixon dealers left but there may be some guys that were dixon dealers that still have uh some parts around but a lot of the consumables are disappearing so here we go we're going to just do this the opposite make sure you get it above your bracket there holding your hydros together and just feed it up try and keep it as straight as you can got it started we'll help it out a little bit Let's see it's down there pull it up and we'll worry about uh, getting it on the right pulleys but we got to get it back on that back one 
that's attached to the clutch first. And you want to get as much slack as you can, which I probably didn't pull enough that time. So as you can see, it's, you know, there's too much sitting back here. Pull it up a little more. There we go, now we're pretty close. Get it started around there. Then that way we can pull it tighter up front. Okay, now it shouldn't go anywhere. So now, again, back to the, back to our little diagram there. So we've got to put it around the way it goes. This one will go there. This one will go in between. And I might have to pull that one back off. Yeah, sometimes it, uh, that's, because this is what moves, so that's where you'll have, you'll have extra room. And it needs to come around this one like that. So we got him in there. Get that one started. Get this one started. And there are pinch points, so watch out. diagram again looks good looks good alrighty okay so at this point we've got them all around look down here make sure that you don't have any twists or anything in it uh, which we don't but we haven't tightened this down yet our idler so again that's the that's your 9 sixteenths. What I do is I kind of put one hand on top of it, holding it down. And this you're going to use as a little bit of tightening. And it's kind of a, a little trial and error uh, because each belt's going to be a little different where this needs to set. And you just don't want to burn the belt, but you don't want it too loose that, it, uh, that it's falling off either. We'll get it a little tighter and then I'll push it back. situation like this but I don't think I'm gonna grow one of those anytime soon okay just give you a little more of a close-up view okay so that's that's how I set this piece you know, it, it's still got some tension on it, but it's not, you know, way back here so that you're going to smell uh, your belt burning and burn your belt up. So it looks pretty good right there. Okay, now that we've got our belt tight and everything, got to put our covers back on. Uh, I already put the other side on, but again, it's just those, uh, those two bolts. Here. 
One thing, if, uh, if you are putting your belt on up front here and it gets way too easy to put on, then it probably fell off the back and you'll want to check that. Um, I think I already mentioned, then clean all the grass while you're in here. Clean all the grass. If you haven't greased your, uh, uh, your mandrels, go ahead and do that. This one's hiding in the dark a little bit. Last thing, oh, we have our, our thumb screw here. Set the front two tabs in. On here. Line it up. And tighten this down. we go now we've got our belt changed all right now the final step of course is we want to test it and make sure it works now the old Dixon here she's kind of loud so we'll check it out here As always, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, post them in the comments. But uh, otherwise, take care.